Hi, uh, so my name's Margo, um, I'm the Vintage Rat, um, and uh, I thought today when I got dressed I could make you guys a makeup tutorial. So I don't have any makeup on and uh, my hair is still up in pins, um, and I'll take that out afterwards too. Um, so this is what I start with, um, here's my little makeup bag. Um, so I guess usually I already put on some lotion, oh there's something on it, um, but I use Eucerin I think, but it's got sunscreen in it, 30, um, I don't know, I like this, it doesn't break me out, and I like to think that, um, I always have sunscreen on my face, I always protect it. Um, so I start off, I have a lot of, um, my makeup's not very expensive because, uh, I don't, I don't think that having really expensive makeup, um, is always really necessary. Um, everything I use I like and I think works well. So this is e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. Is that right? Can you see that? Um, I usually just put this. I like putting this on my eyes because my eyelids sometimes get a little greasy as well as underneath. This kind of helps ensure that um, that that won't happen. Then I use this, which is the Maybelline Tree Matte Mousse, and I am Classic Ivory Light 2. And this is a little dark for me sometimes, so it actually might show up on here. Um, looking a little weird, but, um, ooh, it's in my eye. It usually blends in looking pretty good. Um, so this is what I use on days that I don't do, like, full makeup. And I just use it my fingers, I just squish it in there a little bit. And then, can you see when I do this? It's better, right? And I just press it under my eye. And then a little above too because I have like veins and my eyes are always a little darker on top, so there's something that I Yeah, I hope you saw that that's pretty good. Uh I just press a little on top. And then if there's anywhere else that I have like little bits of I'll just give a little. Can you see the difference between these two? I hope so. I always get red, like right here. So I just put a little. Ooh, my nose rings are sticking out. Excuse me. They're too big for my nose. Today I will do blush next. Oh, oh, there's another Elf product. This is Elf blush. Can you see that? In Pink Passion. I'm gonna try to get the camera to focus on here because I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, but it's like this awesome, maybe I should cover this, super pink, uh, blush, which I love. I love really bright pink blushes, um, which probably don't look the best on me, um, but I really don't care. And I have this little, I don't know where this is from, little, I think they're supposed to be kabuki brushes. It's a really shitty brush. I had a nice one, but, um, I don't know what happened to it, so that's why I'm not. Um, but it really works fine. I don't really, like... I, I'm not a big blender with blush. I usually just slop a bit, slop a lot on there. Below my nose and my chin. Um, to me, the more blush, the better. But I know <laughs> not. I like when people have really pink cheeks, like in general, like when people have rosacea. 
I think it's very adorable. Um, okay, then I use wow, like all my stuff is elf, I didn't even realize. But it's so good because it's really cheap. They don't test on animals. It um I don't know, I like their stuff a lot. This this kind of broke a little, but I like it. Um it's for my eyebrows. Uh sometimes actually not anymore. I used to film my eyebrows and sometimes, but like my eyebrows are naturally like jet black and um and pretty thick. Uh, I completely stopped plucking them recently just because um, I got really lazy and um, they look pretty much the same so I just stopped. But this just helps keep it, um, did I show you this? It helps keep it, uh, you know, in place. Um, I don't use this part, I think it's for, it says treat. I think it's to make them thicker or something but I don't really think it works. But this is just like a dark brown, like, mascara I guess really. Um, but I like so it makes it a little bit darker and just keeps them in the shape. Um, this is the darkest shade you can get. I don't know if it says it. Yeah, clear slash deep. Um, and sometimes if like, uh, yeah. sometimes if I want to, I can I'll also add a little bit with like um, powdered. Not powdered. Uh, with like eyeshadow, like a dark brown eyeshadow, or like a dark pencil, or sometimes a, like a gel. But like, I really don't need to anymore. So, but if you want to, go right ahead. So next um, is a product that isn't Elf. Uh, it's Maybelline Line Stiletto. Can you see that? Oh, that's close enough. I hope I'm doing this right. Um, and it's a liquid eyeliner with a felt tip pen, which is what I personally like. Um, honestly, I can get used to pretty much anything. Um, I don't like when they're brush tips. Um, it doesn't work for me. Um, and I don't like pencil because, um, for the looks that I do, I always do either cat eye or a black line on top. Um, and the pencil just doesn't look as clean or as smooth. Um, and that's not really what I want. Um, plus it smudges so much easier for me. Um, oh, I wash on my sheets. Um, I can't what I was gonna say. Um, oh, and this is just in like super, super black. What does it say? Blackest black. Okay, you're not gonna see that. I'm gonna show you. Um, and so this is what the little thing looks like. And, um, I know for me, uh, I have pretty small eyes and like, I don't have much like upper lid space, if that makes any sense. Oh my god, I just got stuff all over me. Should I get Q-tips? I'll get Q-tips later. Because those are my eyebrows, huh? I'm quite dry. Um, so I can't do like a lot of stuff. Uh, like some people use like eyeshadows and do stuff with the crease, but for me it either ends up looking too heavy or uh, there's just not a space. So it looks like you can't tell what I did. So personally I just like using the clean black line. Um, um, I think... Yeah, I'll just, I'll end up showing you, can I? So, you sometimes, I'll show you. Alright, so, I hope you can see this, because I want you to be able to see. Can you see this? So, the way I do it is you never want to, like, lift your eyelid up or, like, squint it, because... So, you don't ever want to squint your eye, or, uh, anything, hold on. Anything like that, because if you do that, um, the eyeliner is going to come out weird. So you want to have it like as flat and as smooth as possible. So what I did is I lift my eyebrows up. And let's just see. And don't worry if you mess this up because I mess this up all the time. You have to just... The trick for me is just doing a really like... You want to anchor your one of your fingers on your face. And um, it also helps to have an art background. Um, you want to do like clean little lines. Um, and do super super light like you want to you don't want to press down because that'll make it splotchy and too thick at first oh, I'll probably dry this out by now okay so let me start so what I usually do is I start off with a little line like this make sure you feel it at the bottom can you see that and then if I'm like, I want to make that thicker, I do that. So usually what I do 
is um it's like a very thin half moon um so it's like the thickest like right where my eyebrow arches i guess if that makes any sense and then thinner in the inside and the outside or you can also do um where it's thicker on the outside and then it goes thinnest but for me i like doing that because it makes my eyes look rounder i think i don't know if that's true but in my head that's what it does you'll have to tell me So I actually made it a little thicker than I wanted to, but I'm just going to go with it. So sometimes I'll leave it just like this. Um, I usually do the second eye before I do the wings. Um, it helps make sure they're even. So once again, this one, this eye is always hardest for me. I find that a lot of times um, you'll have one eye that you favor, or like it'll be easier to do things on one side. I think it has to do with like, oops, which is your predominant like hand, I guess. So for me, it's the right hand, so it's easier to do it this way than this way. But I think it's just, I guess, figured out. Hold on. So once again, I'm anchoring, but this time I'm anchoring, I guess, my whole hand. <laughs> this one usually ends up being thicker right away. Uh, so a lot of times I'll make this one really thin, because I want it to be thin that day. Uh, and this one will just end up being thicker, and I'll just have to go with it, because it's really hard to, like... Oh, uh, it's actually that hard to go back and fix it. I just don't ever feel like doing that. Okay. Okay, so it's about even. Can you see that? Oh, this isn't just like totally blurry for this part. That would really suck. Um, so sometimes I'll leave it like this, um, but today I guess Ooh, I'll show you how to do a can eye because um, I know that's really tough for a lot of people. Um, so let's see if I have some tricks. I gotta do some of my nose rings because it just looks like I'm picking my nose all the time, which I don't really mind, but like maybe some people don't like that. Alright, so the way I do it, let me close this so I don't uh, waste all of the. Okay, so what I like doing is I go from where the tip of my eyebrow and then thinner in the inside and the outside. Or you can also do um, where it's thicker in the outside and then it goes thinnest. But for me, I like doing that because it makes my eyes look rounder, I think. I don't know if that's true, but in my head, that's what it does. You'll have to tell me. So I actually made it a little thicker than I wanted to, but I'm just going to go with it. So sometimes I'll leave it just like this. Um, I usually do the second eye before I do the wings. Um, it helps make sure they're even. So once again, this one, this eye is always hardest for me. I find that a lot of times um, you'll have one eye that you favor, or like it'll be easier to do things on one side. I think it has to do with like, oops, which is your predominant like hand, I guess. So for me, it's the right hand, so it's easier to do it this way than this way. But I think it's just, I guess, figured out. Hold on. So once again, I'm anchoring, but this time I'm anchoring, I guess, my whole hand. <laughs> this one usually ends up being thicker right away. Uh, so a lot of times I'll make this one really thin, because I want it to be thin that day. Uh, and this one will just end up being thicker, and I'll just have to go with it, because it's really hard to, like... Uh, it's actually that hard to go back and fix it. I just don't ever feel like doing that. Okay. Okay, so it's about even. Can you see that? Oh, this isn't just like totally blurry for this part. That would really suck. Um, so sometimes I'll leave it like this, um, but today I guess Ooh, I'll show you how to do a can eye because um, I know that's really tough for a lot of people. Um, so let's see if I have some tricks. I gotta do some of my nose rings because it just looks like I'm picking my nose all the time, which I don't really mind, but like maybe some people don't like that. Alright, 
so the way I do it, let me close this so I don't uh, waste all of the, okay, so what I like doing is I go from where the tip of my eyebrow is, which I think they're even, in the other pillow. I go from where the tip of my eyebrow is, and what I like doing is I like having them stick like almost straight up, um, because I think it looks nicer as opposed to doing them really long because it looks weird on me because my eyes are small and like sort of almond shaped, so I don't mess with that. Um, oh, wrong end. <laughs> Okay, so the trick with this, actually there's no trick, um, you just kind of have to get used to it, um, and like keep doing it and keep practicing and don't worry if you mess up the first time because you pretty much always will. Um, you want to just keep checking to make sure that they're even and sometimes you have to go back with a q-tip and like erase part of it and like try it again and just end up making them bigger and bigger and bigger until they're just huge but even, um, which is my problem a lot of times. So what I'm going to do is I do a little... I want to draw like a line, oh actually that works too, I can do this, like that, except for that was way too big, and I got it everywhere, so actually that was a terrible trick, I -tips. um, but you know what, I'll make it really big today, so then I want to do the same thing on the other one, and the trick with this is to make sure it's the same angle, and also, at the same place in your eye. So if you draw one that's down here and then one that's up here, it's not going to look the same. So mine is like almost at the tip. See, that wasn't quite even. Can you tell? This one starts up higher. But these are pretty much even. So what I like doing is I draw a line straight from the tip of it to like where the center of my eyelid is so it's like straight down because if you do a curve um when you close your when you open your eyes and you like look straight ahead your eye like this right here on me anyway um i'm pretty sure this is most people like curves so it's going to make the cat eye curve anyway so if you draw it curved in it's going to look weird um i think so let me finish this So if you can see, when I close my eyes, it's like a triangle, and then um, when I look at you, I'm gonna let it dry, because I totally messed up. <laughs> it's a great tutorial. Look at all the ways you can mess up doing this. So I'm just gonna do the other one a little. Okay. I think honestly one of the biggest things I found with this is that you think uh, you'll probably end up being more anal about this than like other people will see it. Q-tips is to um, wait till whatever it is that you're trying to clean up, if it was like liquid or uh, like a gel or whatever, wait for it to dry, um, and then you can just wipe it off really easily. Let me just get close for this. Okay, that's pretty much even. Let's just fix it a little bit. Mm. See, this is what I'm talking about. You start to see little things and then you keep messing it up. Okay, that is as close as I am going to make it. Okay, so can you see this? So when my eyes are like this, it's oh mascara. What am I doing? I am tired today. Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to say is when I look straight ahead, it's like triangles. But when I look down and up at you, it's like a curve. So if I had made it curved, it would be like super curvy when I do that, and that's not what I want. Um, but if you like that, obviously go ahead. Let me try and get comfortable. Okay. So the mascara I use is Define a Lash, can you see that? Um, by Maybelline. Super green and ugly, I hate the two. Very black once again. 
Um, I like Maybelline's eye products, I find they're pretty good. I like the brush because I'm sure you've seen it before, but I like that it's plastic with the, um, I don't know what this brush is called, but I just find it separates my lashes very nicely because I have very thin lashes, um, and I don't really need them to be thick, but I like when they're long, um, and I find it helps keep them long and spidery. So the way I do it, take it out of the tube, you don't ever want to pump it in because that adds air, and you just, can you see that's my close enough? You wiggle it. Um, and I find if you um, angle your head like this and do it this way, it makes the eyelashes curlier as opposed to just doing it like this because that pulls them this way. So I want to pull them up. Um, and I always put a lot on the outer corner. Because I like having a little curve. Doesn't always work. So if you can see that. I do really simple makeup looks. Um, it's like not very complicated. I think like clean, simple stuff looks nice on me. Looks better anyway. Plus also I wear like you know I have purple hair. And I wear pretty crazy outfits sometimes. So I don't think I need <laughs> that much more. Like the way I do it is I like squinting like this, so it pulls it straight up. Um, you can use an eyelash curler too, I just, you know, I don't want to break my eyelashes off too much. Okay, then, I always get a little, right there. Uh, okay, last, like I was saying before, a lip liner. Can you read this? Because I can't read it. I think it's just one of those, like, really shitty cheap drugstore brands. Yeah, AL569. But it's just like a bright true red. So, the way I do this, I'm trying to figure out how I can uh, make sure your lips are clean and dry. I personally uh, like the matte look. I really don't like glossy lips. They kind of gross me out. I'm like shimmery or glitter. I don't like it. It's not for me. It doesn't look good on me. It's, again, too much. Um, so the way I do it is um, I fill my lips out a little much. Not a little much. I fill my lips out further than they are, um, which my friends always make fun of me for, but that's what I like doing. Um, so with my cupids though, I usually make it straighter than it is. That's where I start. Yeah. And then the best way to do is once again anchor your face, anchor your hand on your face, make sure your hands are clean. And uh, you want to do like clean little strokes, very lightly, the same way you do your eyeliner. And don't like like this or anything because it'll change the shape of your mouth. Okay, I cannot for the life of me figure out why this keeps happening, but um, my camera keeps cutting out and it's such a pain in the ass. Like if I do a quick in this morning, like 10 minutes, it'll just be like, okay, you're probably done now. Um, so I guess I'm going to shut up, but whatever, I'm not going to listen. Um, so I think I ended off with the last recording on lip liner. And you didn't see me put my lipstick on. But, um, or my lip liner really, but I'm not going to do it again because um, I don't want to. Um, but the lipstick I used is another e.l.f. product, which is completely worn away so you can't even see it. Um, but it's Rich Red, which is 11, uh, 004, um, and it's a matte, it's their matte line. Just a nice bright red as you can see. Um, uh, some people don't like the mattes because they dry your lips, but I like matte lipstick only. I don't like any shimmer or glitter or gloss. It do doesn't work for me too much, once again, uh, and it always looks goopy, and it comes off really easily. Um, so people always ask me, like, how do your lipsticks down so well? Like, how come it never comes off? Whatever. Um, the reason, one, is I always check the mirror to make sure that it's not, like, all over my face because I have issues with that. And two, I use matte lipstick, and that stays to your face better. Because if you add a gloss or anything on top, it, like... Uh, it'll make it, uh, it'll make it come off more easily. Um, so there you are. So that's my makeup look, um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope maybe it helped you a little bit. Um, do like a, I guess, pinup style look is what I would call this. Um, 
honestly, it's just what I found to look the best on me. It's not necessarily recreating any certain look, um, but I guess inadvertently it is. But this is pretty much what I've been doing for the past, like, just generally few years on my makeup, which is why um, I've gotten pretty good at the eyes. So don't be discouraged if it takes you a little while to figure them out, them out because they're hard to do, and uh, it takes a little while. But good luck. Uh, I hope this helped. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you later. Bye!